It's a perfect day. Great tracks, good riding buddies. The planets have aligned and I'm not making any mistakes. And I can watch other riders making mistakes. All the years of training have paid off. I am finally a respectable enduro rider. Except for stopping. Oh, these tracks are tough. <laughs> My confidence still isn't 100% after the spine fracture. But that's okay. I think it's probably a good idea <laughs> to lose some confidence. For example, most of today I am riding at the rear of the group and just riding at my own pace. Oh, slippery tree roots. Oh, bloody hell. I still don't like steep descents for obvious reasons. <laughs> I imagine myself going over the handlebars again and wearing a body brace and the doctors telling me to stay off motorbikes for a year. No thanks. Some viewers have been asking about the old injury. Unfortunately, I didn't make a 100% recovery. It's more like 95%. But the good news is I can still ride. If I focus on good posture, I can still usually ride for about two hours before the pain starts. If I take ibuprofen, then three hours is fine. I'm not complaining. This is a much better outcome than paralysis. There was a lot of rain last week, so some of the tracks might be flooded. I haven't drowned a motorbike yet, but there's always a first time. I remember a serious situation in Canada a few years ago. Do you think you can get it started, Tim? Let me see, I'll get the joke here. Oh yeah, there she goes. Awesome, mate. Oh. Lovely. I'll see you on the other side. All right, cheerio. Cheerio, old chap. Have a good ride. I'm coming up on plane now. <laughs> oh, he's aquaplaning. Recently, we rode one of Cashy's most popular trails, the log track. He deliberately created the track to include dozens of logs of various sizes. Next time, I'm going to take a more appropriate bike for logs.